Hey there, it's Anna. Welcome to the garden. So today is a beautiful morning here at the end of August. I've got my garden helper out here with me. Um, but I thought I would just take you around and give you a little bit of a tour of my little urban garden here, show you how things are looking. We're going to be starting to pull some more things out here for fall and changing things over. So I wanted to give you a look at the end of August garden. Let's check I'm going to start right here with my zinnias, which are beautiful. These are lily put zinnias. So they're like a smaller size um, zinnia. As you can see, the powdery mildew is really getting to them. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to pull them pretty soon just because it's starting to get pretty bad. Um, but they're looking really pretty and I'm going to at least have a beautiful bouquet at the end of that. And then in and around them, I do have some things for fall. So I've got some different kales growing here, the feathery frills. I actually threw some arugula seeds in there, which I can see coming up. So that's kind of exciting. The gonfrina will last. That's still doing beautiful. And the peppers too um, don't seem to be bothered by any of the mildew or anything like that. Um, and so they should be totally fine. This is the gypsy pepper, um, the cool peño, which is just producing, producing, producing. And I'm really excited because over here, I can see the first poblano that I've gotten in a while. This plant kind of took a break and I wasn't exactly sure why, but oh, don't touch the bees. <laughs> um, he's okay. We've got so many bumblebees in the garden right now and she is like just in love with them. As long as she doesn't touch them. It's all good. This could be a little bit of an interesting tour um, with Girly Girl along for us, but we'll do the best we can this morning. Anyways, I was saying that these poblanos kind of took a break and they didn't really produce much fruit for a while. I don't know if they were shaded because they were kind of at the back of this bed here, but they're finally starting to set some fruit. So that's great. So this giant Ford hook Swiss chard is just like the most beautiful plant. It's so huge and gorgeous. I'm growing tons of this next year because I loved it so, so much. And I do have my other Swiss chards, which are still chugging right along. Um, so we'll leave those. Those can grow all the way through the fall. Should be no issue. They'll like the cool temperatures. So that'll be great. And then we've got um, the eggplants back there. All those echinaceas I planted are doing pretty well. Um, and that bed is really filled in because this pumpkin vine has just taken off in all directions. It's coming through this bed here and actually popping out now at the front. I don't know that it's actually setting any pumpkins. We'll see. They're supposed to be Jackby little pumpkins, but uh, you know, I don't know if we're going to get any, but that's okay. We've got some arugula. The corn is looking beautiful, doing exactly what I wanted. Um, and I'm just going to have to decide if I want to harvest any of it and like use it as a display kind of dried or just leave it growing. So it just kind of, we'll see how it goes. And since the last garden tour, the perennial phlox is reflushed and you can see that now my Mexican sunflower, my tithonias are starting to come up, um, and reach above them and bloom, which isn't that stunning. I'll have to get over there and give you a closer look. These are the most gorgeous flowers. So beautiful. This one kind of flopped over, but I've got a second one coming up here, which will bloom and get really tall. And then of course we've got um, the milkweed here. The snake root is just starting to think about blooming and a bunch of other flowers. This is actually a really pretty view of the garden right now. Just super full and really lush. And then in here, I've started to plant out, I got some collards and some of the fall things. I've done a few videos about those plantings, but they're starting to really come out. And I've noticed that um, we're starting to get some green beans. So those are gonna be ripe soon. That'll be a really fun one to harvest. So that's a great plant to plant in like midsummer. I planted these in July. And um, yeah, here by the end of August, we've got you know the first harvest really coming along. And then you just have to keep an eye on them. Once they get to this stage, then they're going to ripen super fast and you need to be ready to go and ready to pick them. So I've got to keep an eye on those. Um, and then let's see over here, this is the arch trellis. So this is doing really well with all of the Juliet tomatoes. 
we have got just Juliet tomatoes, Juliet tomatoes everywhere. And I've been down below it, I have been moving around. Um, the clematis is starting to put on new growth, so I'm really happy to see that because these plants were, were looking a little rough. I bought them mid-summer. <laughs> Got a bug. Um, but now they're starting to take off and you can see look really healthy, which is great. I have a whole um, video about how I fertilize my containers and my perennials and containers. And I'm really pleased to see that it's working really well. Um, and like as evidence that this is now taking off, I'm, am I even gonna get some blooms here? I would love to see this start to bloom by the end of the season. And now that the intense heat is kind of backing off, um, I'm actually kind of hopeful that maybe maybe we'll get some really nice um, blooms, which would be super fun. So um, that's kind of exciting. And then just, you know, the catman and other things that I've shown in other tours are all around but here. It's a pretty area. It's really fun. Catman is such an attractor for pollinators. It is just such a great plant. And then recently I redid all of these containers. <laughs> Don't mind the watering can. My garden helper has been watering. Um, I redid all of these kind of container displays and put in some fall containers. I'm actually going to post a video tomorrow with um, the like the details of this container. But I just love this Let me new show one. you another angle. I think it's so pretty. We've got the eggplant over here. We've got um, some little decorative peppers, some fall containers, the angelonia, and then this rudbeckia, which is just stunning. And I brought down my banana plant which i had had patio and i brought that down here and i think that kind of adds like a little bit of fun to the garden so that's been really nice and then over here this area is kind of evolving as you see i've got i've got a purple coneflower that i've got to get into the ground here um and then i'm actually thinking i'm going to plant in a couple of these cabbages and this dusty miller like into this area for fall winter um, kind of look. I'm not quite sure what I'll do with some of the other plantings in here, but probably leave them in the gen then just as they fade out with a cold, I will, you know, these, these other ones will take off. And then of course the container pond is just beautiful. I got to get out a couple of those um, lily pads. I'm trying to be really mindful of taking out any of the lily pad leaves that get kind of, um, you know, discolored like that so that it just stays healthy and fresh. Um, and then over here, we've got our fig, which is growing a fig, which is so exciting. And then the bed of all of the little seeds and seedlings that I planted looking really, really good. The carrots are coming up, the succession of um, onions is coming up, all the other seedlings are doing well, the lettuce, and I'm gonna be planting out peas pretty soon here. I was just looking at the little peas that I started inside. I'm kind of experimenting with starting peas inside this year and um, they've gotten huge in like, it's gotta have been less than a week. No, maybe, maybe a week and a half. They're already like tall and they need to get planted out, which will be interesting to see how that goes. Definitely stay tuned um, because I'm not quite sure. It's still pretty warm. I was thinking they would take longer, but they're not, they're just, growing up beautifully, but those will go on the arch. I'm also gonna plant some more peas over here in um, this container, um, this grow bag. I did put in some of this, these collards. These are Morris Heading collards, which I have been treating with um, some BT, because as you can see, the caterpillars are on them. But then there's a few beets in the center, and then I thought I would do um, also some peas in this container as well. And I redid this little area a little bit I need to go ahead and I think cut back this echinacea, but I brought down my basil and there's just some fun stuff here. The tomato fall, my fall um, tomato. I planted these tomato plants in July and it's already like woo, getting super tall, looking beautiful. And then I planted this um, lovely milkweed, which is starting to flower, you know, all Last of it. area, I guess, is just this kind of um, space in where I, um, have my greenhouse, my unheated greenhouse with the cover off right now. And I've got just some flowers growing in here. Again, more tomatoes that I planted in July. So this was a little tiny tomato plant in July. And as you can see, it's getting huge. It's growing fabulously. We're starting to put on fruit. I've got some ground cherries in there. I moved over my seedlings. So um, I did a video where I seeded 
a bunch of um, perennials to try to get them going as like <laughs> getting a jump start basically on the seeds. So I wanted to seed those and kind of like get them established, grow them through the winter and then have them like kind of on their second year next year. They've all come up really well except for the Joe um, pie weed. I'm gonna have to like redo that. I think it needs um, some, some cold stratification for the seeds. But the other ones, as you can see, look beautiful and they're just coming up and growing right along. I'm gonna thin them out soon and just keep them growing. And then in here we have my second succession of squash. So these are all the squash that I started again in July. They're starting to get another big. one in this eggplant. Look at all these eggplants too. Beautiful. Um, and then these are the summer um, started squash as well. Looking so great. here is the August garden. All of the summer fun starting into fall. It's been a good month in the garden. I am getting excited. Like it's fun to see Early girl took my little fountain um, out of the water. Got to put that back in. Um, it's fun to see everything starting to change. You know, I'm a little sad to have to pull out these zinnias soon and some of those things, but just this has been the month of blooms and it has been so lovely. As you can hear too, probably the bugs got cicadas right now. Um, it's hard to believe that fall is on the way, um, but so many fun things happening. Anyways, thank you so much for hanging out and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.